Hey folks, and welcome to Subjective Thoughts. And our comic for today is Batman The Adventures Continue, Issue 1 by DC. Now there is fighting, a crazy asshole with a gun, crazy Luther, uh, weapons, and crime. So if you are in any way squeamish, you have been warned. Also, spoilers. Alright. Let's botch some names, shall we? Okay. So the writers are Alan Burnett. And Paul Dini. The artist is uh, Tay Templeton. Ty Templeton? Colorist is Monica. I'm not even gonna attempt that. Letterer is Josh Reed. Cover, this is, I think this, this is a regular cover, so it's Dave Johnson. And editor is Andrew Marino. And there it tells you Batman uh, was created by Bob Kane and Bill Figger. Wasn't there a whole debate who created who? Hmm, I think I remember something like that. Anyway, as usual, all this will be uh, down below in the description. Right, so when I first saw this was about to come out, I immediately jumped on it. I love the uh, the animated series of Batman. That's uh, that was my first exposure of Batman when I was a kid. So I was like, ooh, I need to get this. This is a... Uh, the, yeah, I guess a mini-series. It's supposed to be 12 issues. From what I understood. So, yeah, yeah, 12, 12 issues. So, as, as it says in the title, we continue Batman's adventures in uh, in Gotham. Also, I read that wrong. I thought it was Batman the Adventure Continues. But then, uh, today, I, re I realized why isn't there an S. Then I realized it's adventures. Eh, I need to pay more attention. Well, anyway, we start with Batman having a, his regular patrol, patrolling the city when a giant robot appears and breaks into um, Wayne. Uh, well, anyway, the, the Wayne building where they do where they do research in science and everything, and he steals um, he steals something there from a vault. He takes the whole vault. And while this is happening, we see a mysterious dude who's, uh, he's returned to Gotham. Now, I, I, I can't help but wonder, is, is that meant to be Jason? Jason Todd? I mean, um, I mean, the whole storyline of Lazarus doesn't, Lazar, the Lazarus bit doesn't happen, right? It doesn't happen in the Batman animated series. Because the Robin with him then is Tim. I don't know, it just, it's just, a, this guy has the jacket, the brown jacket. And he has, his hair is black, but it has a splash of white. I just, I, I do, is that Jason? I really wonder if that's Jason. Anyway, uh, Batman is uh, trying to stop that robot from stealing that um, vault. Inside of it is something he was given by Superman, or Superman gave to, you know, to the Wayne scientists. But he doesn't manage, uh, the robot uh, manages to escape with the thing. And Bruce goes back to his back cave and tries to, you know, to, tries to figure out where that robot came from. Ah, uh, Alfred, it was good to see Alfred. Uh, and, you know, the, the cartoon Alfred. So Alfred brings him a jacket. He needs to... He's been invited to a cocktail party. And at first he doesn't want to go, but then Alfred said, I didn't tell you who was the surprise guest. And it's Lex Luthor. Oh, I also learned Batman was in a relationship with, with someone named Veronica. Oh, I forgot her surname. Anyways, he's like, I'm not the married type. Then Luther appears. I can't remember. Was Lex Luther always crazy? <laughs> Batman calls him, calls him a maniac later on, but I don't remember. 
Killing's insane with like obsessed insane with Superman. Hmm. Can I can't remember exactly. Maybe maybe he was. Anyway, they they, they talk, you know, he asks him about the um who the, the, the break in. And then, you know, they talk about Superman, how he hasn't, uh, Lex hasn't seen him since he went to fight on the moon. Ah, Lex, why do you reveal information? You're, you're not helping yourself. Then, um, Batman goes to a, a little private airport, uh, I think just outside of Gotham. He finds out that's where the, uh, the robot's probably being kept. And also the thing that uh, the robot stole, which is the head of Brainiac. Brainiac 5. Uh, Brainiac apparently sent himself to space during that particular fight. But the head remained. And uh, Superman wanted, uh, you know, Batman to investigate it. To, to look into it. So Batman breaks in. He, he puts a, a, a scam a device to scan the robot and you know to see how it's built Alfred's uh, back in the back cave looking at all that up and then he sees that they haven't yet broken into the vault to get Brainiac's head out but then uh, Luther appears in his exo exoskeleton I think I kind of remember it from the Justice League cartoon I think it was the Justice League cartoon is there a Superman cartoon too? I need to I need to look all the stuff up. It's, it's been so long. Hey, the they fight the Luther of course has the upper hand. He is in his exoskeleton suit. He's about to uh choke Batsy. But then um because they they, they talked about the you know, Batman told him there's nothing in that head anymore. The Luther's like, don't worry, I'll, I'll get what I need from that head. I can build. Then he, um, but Batman did something to the Brainiac head. He throws a couple of batarangs on it, and then it shoots uh, lasers from its eyes at Luther. Uh, Batman uses that to escape and get back into the Batcave, where Alfred bandages him up, and he needs to... He's like, I don't have time for this, Alfred. I have to go back there. You know, before Brainiac, uh, Brainiac, <laughs> before Luther gets the, um, or Luther gets the head and then starts building with it, really. Batman takes out his own, uh, his own suit, his own robotic suit, and he's about to go out, and then they look at the designs of the robot. And it's like, it looks like he has two, uh, um, a, a cockpit uh, for, for a pilot. And then uh, Batman looks he's like, wait, one of these is not a cockpit. Then we see uh, Lex Luthor on his in his airplane with his... Uh, 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 okay, I can't words today. Pilot. What is pilot? I gotta say, um, Lex always has a lot of ladies working for him. Bodyguards, I remember. An AI that he built. Uh, pilots. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, it's usually ladies. And then, anyway, they go. He says, come on, come on, hurry. You, you don't know, you don't know Batman. He's a menace. And sure enough, at that moment, Batman stops the, uh, the airplane. Lex uh, flies out of the plane. They fight, but... Uh, the blast from the Brainiac uh, lasers did a lot of damage to Lex Luthor's suit. So he can't fight fully, and he has to... Batman knocks him, he has to fly back into the plane. And he jumps into the robot while his uh, pilot, she puts on a parachute. A, g a good honor, she, she's prepared for everything. Then Lex... Uh, the plane gets destroyed when Lex Luthor flies out with his robot. Uh, the the pilot, she's uh, you know, with her parachute uh, flying on the side. <laughs> it's kind of funny actually. Well, 
uh, Batman and Lex Luthor start fighting, and then in the one moment uh, Batman shoots. So it's kind of like with uh, an electrocution device right into the robot where the battery is, and boom, out comes Superman. Oh, that was surprising. A Superman comes out, the robot obviously gets destroyed from that as he shoots his, uh, his, his lasers. He grabs uh, Lex and he grabs the, the pilot and, he's like the, and he says to Batman, oh sorry, mind if I take this one? And he's, yes, sure. So the Batman figured out that uh, Superman was there, you know, Lex uh, saying first that he's been gone for a while. He also called him, and then when he saw the designs, he's like, that's where Superman is, and he decided that jolting him, but jolting... Anyway, they decided to revive him with kryptonite. He thought it would, uh, you know, snap him on whatever hold Luther had on him. Was, uh, Luther used him as a battery. So they go back and get the Brainiac head, and uh, Batman tells him to destroy this thing, take it, throw it into the sun. And, uh, you know, Clark is a good boy. He tells uh, Batman, of course, faster than a speeding bullet. Uh, and, then, and then Batman says he really is a boy scout. <laughs> oh, so cute. Uh, I can't even say though, Luther, you, you finally captured Superman, you're not gonna kill him. You hate that you hate him. You want to get rid of him, but you had the opportunity, and you're using him as a battery. He didn't think this would go wrong, did he? Oh, so what an idiot! Dropping all those hints. He's been gone for a while. Don't tell that. You're helping. Yeah, to be fair, he doesn't know that uh, Bruce is Batman. But still, not very smart. Now, while that's all happening, we, at the end, we go back to our uh, mystery man. Who, as uh, someone, he stands, uh, he stands somewhere in the street. I think it's the spot where Bruce's parents were shot and killed. Because he says, you know, the, a neighbor from above is yelling at him. You know, like, this idiot doesn't realize where, uh, where he is, where I'm standing. Well, the, this guy gets pissed and uh, pulls out a gun after the neighbor threatens to call the police. And he says, I need to be careful. And then he hides the, hides the gun and says, I have bigger fish to fry. And he looks at the Batman signal. And that's how it ends. Oh, sorry. Should have shown some art. Oh, well, I, can, you know, I, can, I can't show a lot of pages. I'll just show the first one. So this is the art style. You know, the very similar... Ugh, that uh, Harley Quinn. That Harley Quinn. Ugh. So it's very, it's very similar to the, uh, to the cartoon. And I love it. Oh yeah, we had Bane in the beginning. And Batman shot him half an hour before that with darts. So was he following him? So yeah, this is the art style. I love it. Oh, and I'll just show you the, the robot. There's the Oh, and I can show you a bit of the guy, but that's it. So this is the guy. You see the, the jacket? And right here he has a bit of white in his hair. So it, it makes me think that this might be Jason. But I'm not sure. I don't know, it would he even be like around the same time? I'm pretty sure throughout the animated show, Batman only had one Robin, right? He had only Tim. So it's, it's really fascinating. Who is this guy? Is it really Jason? Are they gonna put in the, um, the Lazarus Pit story in here? I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. So yeah, I, I, I love this one. So yeah, you know, if you, if you love the Batman animated series, if you like Batman, I think, I think you'll enjoy this one. It's really awesome. It's got the art, and there are stories. So it looks like maybe it's gonna have adventures. 
And then we're gonna have this plot line. I do wonder if it's gonna continue for all 12 issues. Or is it going to continue a number of issues with this mystery guy and then move on to something else? Well, we shall uh, see. Alright, so that is it, folks. So let me know what you think of this one. Have you read it? Did you watch the animated show? And that is it. Now remember, collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. Bye!